Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the family. We are a small channel that discuss the safety and science behind skincare. As a pharmacist, toxicologist and safety assessor, I try my best to provide you with the best information that I have to give you the peace of mind when you are using your personal care products. If that sounds interesting to you, please don't forget to subscribe and join this community. I've been working on this video for a while to understand the thermal water deeply because the info online is heavily focused around article and a small amount of study. So I will answer in this video the following questions. Question number one would be what is thermal water? Uh, question two, what makes thermal water unique? Question three, does thermal water have healing properties? Number four, is it worth it to use thermal water? Let's start with the first question, what is actually thermal water? I'm sure you have heard online about thermal water being just a fancy bottled water or it's just a spraying your money away. But in reality, thermal water is not just water, it's a bit more. Thermal water are collected from hot springs around the world analyzed for safety then bottled and sold to help you with some skin conditions thermal water uh, hot water spring or what we call it uh, balenio therapy have been uh, used for thousands of years in countries like japan to help treat severe alignment like arthritis and psoriasis the exact mechanism uh, is not yet understood but one article i will put the picture here discuss this mechanism and i quote non-specific factors such as heat which induce the heat shock response in cells and therefore the senses and release of heat shock proteins and also to spe a specific biochemical compound such as hydrogen sulfide in sulfurous water so in general, thermal water is not actually a new fancy uh, thing, but an old practice used for thousands of years and usually uh, beneficial for skin condition because it helps with inflammation, hydration and barrier support. Now let's jump to the uses of thermal water for the skin. There are a lot of French companies like Aven, La Roche-Posay and Yoriage have their own signature thermal water. Uh, that they use in a product like creams and lotion but also sold as a separate bottled water each company own a specific unique water source which means the thermal water of Aven is actually different from the thermal water of La Roche-Posay and so on and different from uh, uh, other companies like Uriage. This leads us to question two, what makes thermal water unique? As I stated in the beginning, thermal water is a bit more than just water. What makes thermal water unique is actually the natural mineral composition and trace element. I will show you here the composition of La Roche-Posay thermal water. As you can see, it contains biocarbonate, zinc, copper with a specific amounts and the dry residue which is the leftover after evaluating the water with the heat is about 440 milligram of mineral in one liter jumping to another example Yoriage that contain a lot of sulfate and iron but has much higher content of mineral in general 11 gram per liter making it the densest water of all the thermal water containing 20 times more than La Roche-Posay but that leads us to a question is more mineral actually better to be honest not exactly the amount of mineral and what kind of mineral and the ratios play a big role in the whole story for example the relation between sulfate and zinc can help with a specific skin concern Aven for example is so proud with the minimal mineral amount of 266 milligram per liter that will help with redness they even studied the formation of mineral crystal I'll put the picture here on the surface of the skin to see how that helped the skin barrier. So each thermal water is unique to the company because it collected from a different geographical points. The thermal water gets a different composition of mineral depending on the soil and the type of soil that the water is passing through. And that was shown in the amount and composition of mineral between, for example, Aven and Yoriage. Now let's jump to the next question, which is does uh, thermal water have healing properties? 
after we establish the idea that thermal water is an umbrella term and no, th no two thermal water is actually alike, we can start talking about the potential benefit. And please focus on the potential part because the data is mostly done by the manufacturer of the thermal water. They are solid studies, but there are always some kind of interest bias. Let's start with the Yoriage, the one that I use. They claim that uh, the water it reduced the violence and adherence of microbes, restore physical barrier, modulate the immunity uh, and barrier function. Let's focus on the benefit number one, which is reduce the, uh, the uh, violence and adherence of microbes. A study done in uh, 2013, and Yoriage was a part of it, it was looking at substance released from our skin nerves ending that affect how the bacteria behave. They call this substance substance B, and this substance was making microbes on, on our skin to be more aggressive. But the use of thermal water from Yoriage was able to neutralize the effect of that substance. So it was interesting uh, because this led us to think that thermal water can have potential effect on inflammation. And one last thing that this study was done in vitro on a cell line. Another study I already mentioned by a van showing that their water can potentially reduce the stress in the skin barrier and help to support it for a long time. Lastly, the protection of uh, UV damage. A study done by La Roche-Posay on their water using two creams, one contained regular water with a, uh, with, uh, without any mineral, and the second group used a cream contained thermal water of La Roche-Posay. The two cell group were exposed to UVB radiation for weeks and the lipid oxidation was monitored to show cell damage. In the control and treated group of cell, the damage was doubled at week 11, as you can see in the, here in the picture, and the treated cell with a cream containing La roche thermal water, the damage doubled after 17 weeks with increased activity of cell repair mechanism. So, in short, I can say that thermal water have the potential to give you some skin benefit. I can put it on number three, where number one is your SPF moisturizer and cleanser, number two would be your serum and toners and treatment, and three would be the thermal water. The lastly, the last question is that, is the thermal water worth using? In my personal opinion, it can be useful for some people who deal with extreme dry skin and exhausted all their option when it comes to treatment. It is worth trying once. If you found it on sale online, grab it and try it. You may enjoy it or more, you see some benefit from it. I'm currently using the Yoriage one. It's fun, refreshing, and can aid with hydration. I saw some small improvement when it comes to redness and irritation it may be something else not related to the use of uh, thermal water but would I buy it again if it's on sale I might especially in summer uh, coming with the heat I could help with some refreshing so this was my video guys I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful for this video secret emoji it will be the water and fire emoji because hello we are talking about thermal water comment it below and I will answer your question as fast as possible and please guys don't forget to stay safe and I will see you in the next one bye